Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'd just like to say thank you for all the nice uh, comments and kind words I got in the last video. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, so um, don't make yourself a brew. Pause the video, go make yourself a brew, come back, put it on full screen and then stay with me for the next half an hour. Okie dokie guys, so as you all know my pond doesn't have a window so I can only observe my fish from, from up here. So um, I was feeding my fish the other day and um, I noticed my tajapan had a little tiny lump on its uh, underside, very noticeable at the time. So I thought I'll get it out uh, and have a look. So, uh, I thought I'd better get it treated. So, I took some, uh, I put two doses of um, aquaflavin in the pond. Uh, so, that was uh, about a week ago. Uh, so, here is uh, the cliff on the fish. Bear in mind, underneath the fish you'll eat, you've never seen the bottom of the fish, you see the top inside, but never right under the belly. So, uh, I'll show you that video, uh, and then I'm going to get it, get it back out, and uh, see how it's doing today, um, and if it's uh, worse, um, I'm going to have to... Um, try um, salt I think. So you know, let me get it out and look. Okay, just putting my uh, uh, rubber gloves on. I don't want to be touching the fish and make it making the infection any worse than what it already is. Right, let's have a look. Okay guys, so what I decided to do is the spare pond that I've got, I'm going to use that as like a little quarantine pond for the Kajaku. So I'm just filling it up and uh, remember the stuff that I bought um, off Facebook, the, is it an all-in-one uh, filter there. So I'll just put a makeshift table there, I'm going to set that up, get it filled up, get it running, and get the fish in it, and I can get some salt ordered and start treating this on it. So uh, we're just cracking on with that now. Okie dokie guys, so I've got this uh, spare pond set up now, uh, using that all-in-one system, and uh, I uh, didn't get around to trying it, but looking here, let's see the UV light is working. There's a green light there. 
that, that's on that. So the UV lights are working, so that should keep the water clear. Yeah, I've also put some uh, oxygenating plants in there. Um, so all I've got to do now is um, put the fish in there and um, put a net over it. And I'll keep that fish in there and keep keep it monitored. monitored. Uh, and I'm going to get some salt ordered and get it treated. So yeah, it's a good job I kept this here. So yeah, let's put it in there. Right, need to uh, get the net, put the net over, and I can get the fish put in. Okie dokie guys, so net on, fish in, and um, so that fish will stay in there now until hopefully get that also cleared up. Uh, I'll keep his um, course on, on there, the outcome. So the fish is eating well, so uh, anyway, next on, all secure, fresh running water, which is creating oxygen, oxygenating uh, uh, a plant in there as well. So, fingers crossed guys, that'll um, work and I'll get some salt put in there as soon as it comes through the front door. Okie dokie guys, so this multi bay is more than enough uh, for this pond. So I haven't cleaned it or done anything with it since I set it up and got it up and running. So today I'm going to uh, get the lid off and have a look to see what's going on. Uh, so I'll put you down and uh, have a look, get the lid off and we'll have a look. Now I don't know if, if the camera can see anything like that at the moment, but I'll just lift it up. Okie dokie, that's the lid off. Let's see what's going on in here. So, the, uh, the bushes are doing well. Uh, there's not a lot of crap in the bottom of the vortex that I can see. It's, uh, it looks like fly larvae. Here and in there. A little bit of crude on the top of the cat mine. And the uh, media that I put in here is securing nicely. So, what I might just do is I might just clean the brushes and, and I'll, I'll just uh, leave, it, leave it as it is. So I'll get these bushes out and give them a, give them a hose down. Okay, I got the bushes out and you can see the crap in there. So obviously they're doing a the job. So uh got the bushes out so you can see all the stuff that's been caught in the bushes. And I think I've got a couple of spare uh, black bushes in the shed, so I'll, I'll clean these up and I'll, I'll look some, and I'll, I'll pick them up, add them as well. So 
so yeah, I'm gonna get these cleaned up now. Okie dokie, so that's the brushes uh, cleaned and I've got another four, I'm gonna need it a little bit finer. Uh, so I'm gonna put these in it as well. Um, just to catch. In fact, there's quite a lot of crap in the bottom of there, so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll empty this bit. I'll empty this bay out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll empty that bay out, and then I'll get these brushes put back in. Okay, so this is where we are with the bonsai seeds. So we now have um, the seed in this pot here. And that one is doing all right. Now, Father's Day has just gone, so my daughter got me this botanical bonsai eco grow set. So I've planted uh, the sweet gum, the pine, and the redwood, and the other two, the juniper. In the latch, the, the seeds have to be put in um, a freezer uh, for 12 weeks uh, before you can um, do anything with them. So I'm, I'm not bothering with them. Yeah, so uh, not a bad little Father's Day present. Uh, so these have been in here for about four days. So that it'll take about two weeks uh, before we see any signs of uh, growth. So it's not a not a bad little kit that. Uh, let's see how it goes. Okie dokie. So just doing a clean on this easy pod, um, and you can see how filthy. Uh, it is so that's been cleaned for about five minutes uh, loads and loads of flies dead flies in there so basically what I'll do is clean these just after I've done them so uh, They've had a little bit of a clean, you can see the colour of the water. So all I do is the switch uh, that controls the air for this, switch that off, and then they start cleaning. <coughs> They've already been done, so I'm just doing this easy pod, so I'll switch that back. Funny enough, I can't really smell. It normally has a really, really bad smell, but I've got a little bit of cold, so I can't smell anything at the moment. So this tube here, I'm going to go back up here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is split that pipe up there. <coughs> and split the pipe at the bottom, that one there, so it'll come up and join join the queue, you know what I mean. Like I had it, uh, the, no, last time I had that on, that was uh, coming down into the, the it, um, bio chamber, but the bio chamber is gone now, don't need it. <coughs> so yeah, now it's got to go back up there, get now to do it though. So I'm going to leave that. Back on. Also, while I'm in here, I've got the third tube back up. Uh, so I've got um, a reducer coming for the top, and then I just need two swept uh, bends or swept tees for the top, one for the bottom, and one for the bottom, and I can get that up and running. So once I get it connected, I'm going to fill it with get it flushed out clean these uh, I quick clean this media 
um, where it was sat in the sun over there and it went green so that won't flushing out so it should be this colour nice a nice brownie colour mature so that is that guys so I think that job will be getting done on Tuesday that's when the um, the rubber gator comes producer sorry Yeah, the the jack is settling nicely, so fingers crossed uh, that infection goes. Anyway, so getting mud on the ground here because that's because I've harvested my potatoes and uh, it wasn't uh, as good as I thought it would be. So that's what I've got out of this box. So uh, next time, well next year, if I'm still here, I'm going to build uh, a trough right the way down the back of that greenhouse uh, and fill it with spuds uh, and the tomatoes, so I'll get this zip up here. The tomatoes, Jesus Christ, the heating is ridiculous. So they've started to flower now. So uh, according to Alexa, because I've never grown them before, they'll start producing tomatoes about two weeks after the flower it's flowered. So hopefully this uh, will be a lot better harvest than the potatoes were so yeah the spring onions are doing all right and the onions are doing all right and the other three pots that i put the mixed uh, bonsai seeds in uh, they haven't done anything Whereas Uncle Winnie here yeah. is it's ridiculous. Well yeah. here. Um that one. It's doing alright. And that one is doing alright. And these ones are the ones I got for Father's Day. The botanical bonsai eco grow set. So fingers crossed, I can get something out of them. Okie dokie, guys. So I got my <coughs> excuse me, uh, the reducer and um, uh, sweat tea and the sweat tea there. So that just needs to go up there, connect to that, just connect that onto that pipe there. You can see and the bottom one will connect that way around uh, on the bottom and then I can uh, get this up and running get it flushed out cleaned and that will um, be back as it was um, and then that will help with the um, polishing <coughs> excuse me of the water so I just need to uh, put them in place and mark out where I'm going to cut the, the pipes down here so I'll have to um, what I'll have to do is get the get the tube set in the right place uh, equal you know bottom and top and then mark the pipe and then cut it and then I can uh, get that slid on and then we're good to go guys 
So, uh, yeah. So, all I need to do is crack on with that. Okay, okay, so I've got the, uh, the, um, the extra pieces put on in place. And I'll also mark the pipe out where I need to cut on the top and the bottom. So what I have to do now is turn everything off, uh, drain the water out, and I can get these pipes cut, glued and fitted, and then get the water through them again. Okay, pipes on. Uh, but what I have to do is, I didn't have any glue uh, for the fittings, so I used silicone, should be alright, the fittings are quite tight anyway. So uh, I'll just let that silicone dry and then we can uh, get the pump on, get it flush, water through them and get this one cleaned out. So that's another job kicked off the list for today. Okie dokie guys, so the pipe work should be just about uh, ready to be uh, filled with water. Uh, I'll leave it for a little bit longer there. So, um, I thought I'd add something else to my channel, so the, this has bought me um, a drone, um, it's only 80 quid, but it's got a, a camera on the bottom, and there's a, a camera on the front, uh, which moves up and down, um, so I'm just learning how to use it. Uh, so basically it's more coordination. Uh, I had a little go of it and it's, uh, it's, um, it's quite hard. <coughs> so yeah, it's not a, it's not an expensive one, but it's more, more like a, an entry level drone. The range is uh, a 400 foot range on it, uh, a few features on it as well. But just learning how to use it, so um, I will be taking videos with this and adding them into uh, the channel as well breaks it up even rather than doing it all about the toy. Um, yeah, rather than doing it all about the toy, I like to do like a little bit of gardening in, in the channel uh, as well as DIY and, uh, and now I'm going to try a bit of, uh, bit of piloting. share that with you guys. So it just breaks the channel up doesn't it? Right, let's back on.
ini kayak gitu nih Okay guys, so I think this is dry and I'm, I'm pretty sure I uh, tightened all the bolts up but I'll, uh, I'll put the pump on and we'll have a look Okay, so the pump's on I'll get these tubes filled up with and just hope there's no water leaks on that first tube <coughs> Excuse me. So there's no leak on the bottom. That's good. I'm gonna just fill it up, and these two shouldn't be leaking. Is this one I'm worried about? Uh, oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Ah, uh, wait a minute. We have a little. Little tiny leak on here, so that just wants tightening up. A little leak there as well. Yeah, so that just just wants nipping up a little bit. And the bottom, so I'll crack on with that. Okay, so the um, there's a little bit of a leak. There's a little bit of a leak here, and this is slipping. It will only go to a certain point, so that won't get any tighter and I don't have any spare uh, clips that size so what I'm going to do is is try, I've emptied it out so I'm going to uh, just dry the water off it there and put a bead of silicone around it and then it's uh, good to go once it's dry yeah so uh, yeah 
Fantastic. Okie dokie guys, so you can see the shower is back up and running and that means the tube is connected so have a look There we go, tube up and running, cleaned out, spot on <coughs> So that'll just uh, polish the water a uh, little bit better, a little bit more uh, Yeah, so that, that's uh, all sorted now So uh, Today is uh, <coughs> Excuse me, so today is treatment day for the Kajaku So I've got a, a bowl of uh, nice clean water I'm just waiting for the salt to form. I'm gonna mix some salt Get it out and give it a, a five minute bath and then I'm going to do that every day for seven days and then we'll see see what goes on with it we'll have another look at the uh, the wound okie dokie guys so my on garden salt came so there's four gallons of water in there, clean water, and the dosage is one tablespoon per gallon. So there's four tablespoons in there. These staying in there for five minutes, and then I'm going to go back in the the little quarantine pond. Uh, so that's going to be done uh, for seven days, and fingers crossed. Uh, we can sort it out because it's uh, a lovely little kajaku, as you can see. So it's, it's worth it's worth saving. Yeah, worth saving. And as I say, he is feeding as well, so so that's good. Okay guys, so that's it for this uh, video, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, it's free to subscribe, and I'll catch you all in my next video, see you soon.